Ah, old friend. Sina, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, bro. What do I say? I'm just there, man. I'm fine. Good to know you remember an old part, bro. <laughs> I'll hmm. say thanks. Thanks for receiving an ex GLB like me. <laughs> Come off it. Come off it, Sina. You are not an, you know, whether an ex GLB or not, we are pals, man. We are pals. After all, we all know you were framed up. Yeah. <laughs> we know you were framed up. So what brings you around? Well, nothing. Mm. You still do this thing. You still on this smoking thing. You still do this thing. Man, I'll drop this cigarette thing. Fear of, you know, this lung cancer thing. It's eating people up now. That's true. You better think about it. Oh. Now think about it. <laughs> you know, I just came <laughs> out from jail and you know, what it is being in jail, you do all sort of things. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. <laughs> I'll get out of it. I like the way you talk. Thank and you. And it's good to know you are too, bro. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can survive anywhere. No, you so tell me, there's this um there's this um lady I saw driving a Venza with a um, plate number KWL four zero two T. Yeah, yeah, fair, very beautiful. A dark yeah. Venza. Yeah, a dark Venza. A dark Venza. Very beautiful lady. She should be within 30 or thereabout. I didn't see her, but mm. from what I saw, I think she's a very tall lady. <laughs> the car, as a matter of fact, uh, belongs to Sinachi. And that lady must be the wife. Sinachi. Mm. You mean Jewel Sinachi, the, uh, the millionaire from Osaka? That's him. Wow. That's him. <laughs> That's him. I heard the man is around town now. Uh, I heard they also he's got uh, this illness eating the man up. And the doctor actually recommends Enugu climate for him. So the man got to relocate. Mm. Oh. He's located. So he now has a new wife. The man and has old, a new wife. What about the old wife? I mean, the old wife, I heard the last time I checked, the information says um, she died in plane crash. So the man got the new girl in Port Harcourt. That's the Helga, Helga Sinachi. The, the man got hooked up to her in Port Harcourt, but that was when you were in jail. You know? mm. oh. So at the moment, uh, she and the daughter are here looking after the man. Oh. Mm. So you mean uh, Jewel Sinache, the, the millionaire from Osuka, now has a daughter? Yeah, that's the only issue from the first marriage. Man, you need to see that girl. She's something else. Something else. Something else. Johnson. I thought you're now a responsible married man. Bro, come off it. Who is not responsible here? Vivian Snatch, the girl is something else. I must tell you, bro, even my old man will fall for her. <laughs> mm. John Zane. Mm. <laughs> but then I don't envy Sinachi because um, even as a poor man, I wouldn't swap roles with him, despite his dough. The man is sick. The man is sick. But what's your interest in the synergies? What's it about your interest? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just being curious, you know, seeing such a beautiful woman in, you know, that luxury car. This man, you will not change. <laughs> Happy to know you are, bro. Ah, oh, daddy. Daddy, you still drinking? Your health, it's not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vivian, <laughs> those who drink, they don't commit sin. <laughs> Daddy, you called me a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are you going to? I'm going out. Going out? Must you always go out? Oh, Daddy. When last have you visited the company to know what is going on? Yeah, have you ever sat down to think about this company? It's like you have no interest in this company. Daddy, when the time comes, I will know things about the company. Please, a friend of mine just came into town and I have to go. Hi. Anyway, you're not going anywhere. Go back. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, please. Daddy, please, please. I promise you, I won't, I won't be long. My dear. You know, if I go to join my ancestors, who is going to take care of this company? Daddy, you're not going now. So when the time comes, or before then, I would have known things about the company. 
Please, Daddy. Anyway, Please. I hope you won't be long. No, 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 I promise I won't be long. You are the only thing I have. The only egg, the only eye, the only apple. I know, Daddy. I don't want anything to happen to you. I trust me, nothing will happen to me. But meanwhile, Daddy, I wanted to ask you for money. The last one you gave to me is finished. I know. I was expecting this. Hey, Daddy. Must I always give you money? Can't you walk? Anyway, go. I will do something for you. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. So I'll see you when I come back. Bye. wondering I mean after three years after three years in jail what will I be doing with my life every morning what will I be doing listen you worry too much we can get along with the 30,000 naira I receive every month the most important thing is that we are not starving Work will come and you will work, okay? Just be patient. I should be patient. So while being patient, I should be demanding from a woman. Stop it. Stop that I am the man thing here. It will not help us. Listen, I am your wife. I am the one working now. And I'm not complaining. I'll continue to provide for the family. Okay, when you start working, I will not retire. You will continue from there. Yes. Okay. Just cheer up. Seriously, you're worrying me. You're really disturbing me. <clears throat> and you don't even know. Since you came back, you've been so bitter and hard. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that, right? I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to prepare coffee for you. Hmm? Since that is what I know how to do, just, I'll, I'll don't worry. Just let me down. Let put me down smile No, I need a real smile. <laughs> so for the cook. I'll make coffee for All you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. That's my love. <laughs> you certainly did not forget how to make tea. <laughs> and that is one thing Jill did not take away from me. Now promise me you take this jail thing behind you. So that you don't expect me to just forget about my going to jail after all I went through. Don't expect me to just forget it just like that. 
Then fine, I'm not drinking. I can just continue with my cup. Okay, please. It's okay. Promise me then. I promise you. Across my heart. No, I don't feel like taking bread. I'm feeling a bit sick. It's okay. You're such a lovely husband. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Let me just uh, run along. I'll see you in the afternoon. Oh, it's okay. tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm taking your position. Oh. Oh. I must forget. <laughs> Take care. All right, you too. Yes, in other way. Okay. The lady I met at the bar yesterday, Mrs. Uh, Sunachi. All right. Yes, good. It's okay then. I will do exactly as you said. Yep. Anyway. It's very kind of you. Or oh, either very fair. To let you know that I don't even have it. Hmm? Except the allowances my husband gives to me. What do you want? The money from You're very clever to find out for a man. Oh, well, every child. Oh no. What he wants to know that if he if he cares to know. Hmm. If he wanted to be anonymous, he would have stayed low-key. Hmm. Anonymous me. I know you can learn no with your cooperation. I know how it is. Go straight to the point and tell me. But that's what happens. You see? Like I said, I know 
you this money and I know with your cooperation, I am going to get it. Easy. My stepdaughter is to be kidnapped. And you make the ones on the night. And who is going to do the kidnapping? No. It's going to be make believe. She will go somewhere and you make the ones on the night of 20 million naira. Like I said, when it's been paid, you just pick it up. I am going to pay you just for the phone call and picking it up. Your stepdaughter. Is she part of this deal? Mm -hmm. Daughter for special, thank you. She needs the money as much as I do. What do you hear that besides being in the police? Kidnapping can send you to life imprisonment, bro. You will just burn your dead sisters. If anything goes wrong, I will tell my husband the truth, of which I know. I will not allow the police to come into it. I can handle my husband, I know him very well. Think your husband, in case the police comes in, will just tell the police that his wife was only catching a cruise. I don't like it too. You are being impertinent. Are you going to do this thing or not? If you're not willing to do it, I'll get another person to do it. Sure. I think you're not at this whole thing in the kidnap. You could be sentenced to life in prison. Or death by hanging. Okay. I'm going to take you for this whole thing. And I'll let you know that decision. Fine. Girl. I've been in Abuja for the past four weeks. Wow. I just hit town. That's good. So tell me, how are you doing? I hear you have a job now. <laughs> <laughs> it is what they say it is. But it is better than doing nothing, you know. Uh, Seriously. I understand. Uh, you see, Peter, you can't go on like this. You need to do something meaningful with your life. Honestly, I think I can swing this with Marzi, and that is if you want. Marzi? Swing what? Marzi is my boss. I spoke to him about you. You see, we need a good public relations man. And trust me, brother, you are handmade for the job. You think so? I know so. Well, <clears throat> Jack, you see, after, after I was this check, after all the deeds, I will never, never work for the police, no matter how much they pay me. I will never work for the police. Don't be ridiculous, man. Be reasonable. The old gang is gone. 
And this is a great opportunity for you. So what do you think? It's what I know. Good. It's okay. The old gang may be gone. But what they did to me, what they did to me still lives here. It's still in me. I will never forget the memory. Never hey, will I forget. Baby, calm down. Don't you think you should have a rethink about this? I think. Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. Oh, listen, Peter. I know exactly what I am saying. For now, we haven't gotten a salary grant, but I know that any moment of time we will. And if we do, we will need a quick decision because other guys are already haunting the job. You have to act fast. They're always there haunting for the job. Like I said, when I decide, if I decide, I'll definitely let you know. All right, I'll take my leave now. Good luck. All right, thank you. So, maybe you will let me just... Just what? What the? Yeah, okay. So yes, but it comes with a condition. I think Yoga was clever to have trapped you into her windows. <laughs> or you could be even more clever than she is. Well, I am telling you so you could be on your guard. Do you understand? Helga is a snake. In fact, you should trust her no further than you should throw her. She picked on you the moment she heard about your release from jail. In fact, she planted her back in that bar, knowing fully well you would take her money. And guess what? Her guess was as good as that. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> we had a bet. And I lost a thousand naira. I was drunk. Why are you telling me all this? What do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me exactly what I should do. Do you have a boyfriend? A couple of them. Just one. Name one. Jean, Frank, Josh. I picked Jim. What's his full name? Jim Oti. Who picks the call when they call the house? Call the house. The senior house help. The bottle I Yeah. Now this is the plan. You're going to tell them you're going for the movies with your friends. After dinner at exactly 8.45 p.m. You will leave. And I'll make the call. When the butler peeps, I'll tell him my name. Is Jim Uti. When you hear that, you'll be surprised. Show that surprise. And I'll tell him that I met you, friend. Or rather, I'll be talking to you. That I met you, friend, lovely. And we. 
we have decided to hang out at Fidelity Corner. Still, you'll be shocked and surprised. But you'll keep calm. And then you'll move to the Fidelity Corner. But definitely, you'll make sure that your father wouldn't know about it. Because he know he won't let you go to such a place. He will kick against it. Now when you get to Fidelity Corner, you will be shocked not to see your friends. And then you would want to leave. You then cross to the dark car park. And then a blanket will be covered over your face. At the same time, you will be blindfolded and forced into a trunk. Do you understand me? Don't you think you're taking this too seriously? I should. I should take it seriously. And when I make the call, after the whole incident, the police probably might come in. And they will have to ask G T if he made a call to you. Jim Muti will be shocked and surprised and he will deny the whole thing that he did make a call to you. And then the police will start sensing that this whole thing was being plotted by the kidnappers. But you don't need to be scared. Do you really think the police will come into this? Your stepmother said the police won't come in. I'm just trying to be very, very careful. But even if they did, trust me, they're going to shake your memory to make sure they get something out of it. But still stick to your story, no matter what happens. I understand. Now you're really, you're really making me feel as if I'm going to be kidnapped. Exactly how you should be feeling right now. Now I jumped in a little bit, and I wanted to go.
Jack, sir, what, what did you find out? Not much, sir. But we now know the man is tall. He has a broad shoulder, smokes a rock mats, and weighs around 150 pounds. How did you find out his weight? Sir, it's from uh, James Experimental Hill Print. The idea came when one of his men, weighing 150 pounds, threw down the soil, sir. Well, a little more digging deep into the information. And we'll be there. Hmm? Yeah, exactly, sir. Exactly. After you, sir. Sir, we have gotten a break. 
a man living at Kokam reported an accident on the day of the kidnap. Dano, that's the name of the man. He and his wife went to Ebano Housing Estate to visit a friend. As they were leaving, a car came into the estate and he collided with it. Why didn't Daniel report the accident right away? Sir, the man happens to be under his wife. He does what his wife tells him. Even though it was his fault, his wife wouldn't let him admit it. But he got his mind made up this morning. I would like to speak to that man. Yes, sir, you can. He's on his way up. I have sent the police truck to pick him up. But can he recognize the guy? I think he will. Even though it was dark, he spoke with him. So I think he will recognize him. Permission to carry on, sir. This is a very serious case. We have to dig deep. I know what to do. Sure, sir. Yeah, yeah. Bring them in. Okay, sir. May we meet you? I am Theophilus Daniel. Theophilus, you know what I want you to do now? Just relax. Huh? We don't have anything to do with the accident. We have a kidnapping case in our hand. And I think that the man you collided with has a hand in that kidnapping. So tell us all you know about that man. Well, he was a big fellow. It was dark, so I didn't get a good look at him. How big was this um, guy? Sir, I wouldn't say um, he was broad. A woman, and... shut up your mouth. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to your husband. Okay, tell me all you know about this man. Well, he was... It was dark, so i not sure I did see him well. So you don't know whether he's tall or short? Something like that. Okay, um... Let me ask you this question. This gentleman, is he as tall as this? Huh? Something like that. Wow. This is a gentle tall man. He wasn't as tall like him. I think the gentleman was as big as him, sir. Mm. He's a giant. Okay, let me. I'm not asking you any question. I better ask you to keep your mouth shut from now till we finish this case. Mm. Now, listen, young man. Um, did you speak with the man? Yes, sir. Do you recognize his voice? Yes, sir. You will. Mm. Um, what time did the accident happen? 10 minutes past 10 p.m., sir. Mm. I looked at the clock on my dashboard. Now, where was he going when you saw him? Towards the airport. The airport? John? Sir? You have a big job. Eh? You have to take your men and go to the airport, check all the passengers that enter the plane from 10.30 p.m. to 12 midnight, and bring me the information right away. Right, sir. Eh? 
the right side. Yeah. Now you can go. You can go. Thank you very much. You can also go. Chancellor. Sit down. Alright, thank you, sir. Sir, um, this is Peter Sina, the one I told you about. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. I've heard much about you, and I can tell you that all that I heard about you are good things. Thank you very much, sir. You've spoiled my weekend. I had the intention of taking my wife and my kids to picnic. But, okay, what's up now? Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, sir. But, um, I think we have a situation here. And it looks like a kidnapping case. So, um, early this morning, I got a call from uh, Zebus, the manager of Community Bank. Zebus told me that he had a conversation with Sinachi. Sir, he said Sinachi told him to give him 20 million naira from the bank. <laughs> Today is Sunday. So Zebus persuaded him to leave it until tomorrow. But Sinachi, who is the best bank client, said no, that he must receive the money at once. Sir, from the whole situation, I think uh, something is cooking. Sinachi could have a business deal involving some cash. Exactly what I thought, but um, I think we need to dig deeper. Uh -huh. Jack, if I may ask, why do you think uh, it's a matter of uh, kidnapping? Well, um, at the moment, the girl is missing. Yes. When the girl's father came to live in this town, he needed um, a bodyguard. So we recommended him Usman. Usman was um, an ex-police officer. We've had some conversation with Usman. So Usman told us that the daughter was supposed to have a, a date with the girlfriend at the movies. But the girl didn't show up. And she did not return home last night. How does he know that she didn't go to the movies? Well, the girlfriend called and um, Usman took the call. Zebus, has he been recording the bills? Uh, well, I am, I am not sure, sir, because um, taking record of uh, a large bills, like uh, 20 million naira, would take a hell of time. And the situation is urgent. If this is kidnapping, then it's a very big sensation. Yeah. Well, we have to go. This is why we brought you into this matter. With your experience in journalism, you take care of the press. And uh, you know, you can be sure that um, a lot of um, newspaper houses will key into it. That's why we need you. You have a lot of job in your hand. Thank you very much, sir. This time, I won't fail. Is a uh, car missing? Yes, it's a saloon car. But Usman gave me the number, so we'll work with it. I don't think it would be bad for you to send your boys to go look for the car. Hmm? Yes, and uh, you know, we can't really enter into it until we are invited in by. Okay, sir. Uh, thank 
<laughs> Hello? Yo, pal. Now listen and listen carefully. Your daughter is with us. She's worth anything to you. Then you will need to part with 20 million naira. And the money has to be in small denominations. You don't pay, then you're going to receive your daughter's dead body. Trust me, it's only threat. I mean every word, and I promise you that's exactly what I am going to do. You're not to call the cops. Any trick will convince your daughter is worthless to you. Like I said, that's a promise, not a threat. Okay, I will pay. I will drop it tomorrow, please. But let nothing happen to my daughter. I beg of you. Babe, your phone is ringing. Babe, babe, your phone is ringing. He's even Jack. Babe, wake up. Jack is calling. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. Okay. But 
Jack, Jack, Jack. I did not tell you that I am going to join your division. I did not say I'm going to join you guys. It's alright. I'm sorry I've heard you. On my way. Yes, AP. Yeah. <sighs> what is it? Jack. He said they want me at the divisional, I mean the divisional uh, office. And his, um, his boss wants to see with me. Now, I don't know why he's excited. I don't know. Prepare something for me. Don't get it. You can just take care, okay? Okay, you know what, eh? uh, just allow when she uh, steps out of the airport, she just take uh, an airport taxi straight to Eban, the Eban Junction, as, as a bus stop, okay? She just meet me there with Okay, uh, let me talk to my boss, okay? All right. Okay, then. Right. Uh, Peter. Yeah. yeah. Can I have a word with you? Okay. I was going through the routine police report for Saturday night right. and I saw something. Oh, what was that? A man was attacked at the Fidelity Corner. Do you know the joint? Yeah, Fidelity Corner. I know that place is one rascal. Um, joint like that. Okay. They have all sorts of bad people there. Mm -hmm. I know that place. The man came here and they reported. Yes, he also said um, he can recognize one of the attackers. And the description he gave uh, suits uh, Sinachi's daughter, Vivian. Vivian? Yes. Whoa, 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 what should we do in there? I don't think she would go to such a place. No, that place is too, it's too rascal. Well, the man was too sure. He told us in confidence that um, it was Vivian Sinachi. That billionaire's daughter to that, go to that, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Fidelity Corner? No, no, no. She can go to such one corner. You sure? to hear that. Um, why was uh, Jack requesting for you so urgently and uh, on a Sunday morning like that? Ah, well, he he thought Mr. Sinachi's daughter had been kidnapped. Mr. Sinachi asked his bank manager to go and withdraw uh, um, 20 million naira for him in small denominations. Today being Sunday. <laughs> and you know there is this agreement between the bank and the police that whenever a certain customer withdraws such huge amount of money, mm -hmm. the bank should report that um, withdrawal to the police headquarters. Okay. And that is exactly what Mr. Sinachi's bank manager did. He had to inform the police about the withdrawal of this huge amount of money. You know, I, I'm still trying to let them know because whenever a huge amount of money is being um, withdrawn from the bank like this, and there's always this suspicion that the money is being used for ransom. Probably someone has been kidnapped and they want to pay 
Lorenzo. So that's exactly what I was trying to tell Jack. Let's look at this picture. What if Mr. Sinachi withdrew the money to, 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 to go into a very big business deal? Mm, I think you're right. Yes. That is why I'm telling them that I am not going to stress myself. I'm not going to worry my brain at all until we are certain. But Jack is still insisting that this will be a case of kidnap. But mm. like I'm going to hang up until we are certain about this whole thing. It's okay. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's a good idea. That's okay. Everything is going to be fine. I trust you. So now tell me, are you still going to continue with your art work? At least I have a good job now and I can pay for anything. Or you want to job in for something else? Um, I know you have a good job now, but I'll still continue with my art work. You know, I have so much passion for it. Do but that. don't worry anyway, until the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> It's I know you must be hungry now, so. Well, <clears throat> not really. I, I had some snacks. Snacks? Mm. Yes. Things to make you something good. Something good. Mm -hmm. Curry sauce. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> what? You're <laughs> <laughs> not serious. <laughs> Still lying here. Yeah. How are you? I'm not feeling well. I'm missing my daughter. My only daughter, my only apple. Hmm. Ah. She will soon be back, okay? That's why I'm in her room. Her room reminds me about her. I know. Because you have to get better. <clears throat> Meanwhile, there are some men from the division. They are waiting for you down. They said they want to speak to you. For this division? Yes. Tell them to come up. I'm not leaving my daughter's room. What do you mean? I'm not moving an inch here. You mean they should come inside here? Tell them to come in here. I'm missing my daughter. I know. Sorry. You will soon come back. Okay. Okay, let me call them. If you insist, I will get them all. Sina, my colleague. Peter, how are you? Fine, sir. Uh, sir, please, um, is your daughter around? Why do you want to see my daughter? Is everything okay? I'm sorry to bother you with this. We're investigating a hit and run case. Late last night, a woman was knocked down and was brutally injured. And we found your daughter's car in a barn parking lot. Can we... Can we speak to her? Well, she's not around, you know. She has a lot of friends that I don't even know. And, um... You know, children of these days, they don't tell their parents anything. But, um... I don't think my daughter is involved in this hit and run case. Sir, uh, can you can you explain to us why her car will be left at a van of parking lot? What has that got to do with my daughter? I mean, she has friends, and um, I, I I don't have to go and monitor where she packs her car or. What happened to her car? But I can assure you, my daughter is not the kind of person that will hit somebody and run away. What's mm, up? Can you... Inspector, sir. My husband is not feeling fine. Don't you think you're stressing him? 
Baby. Alright, fine. Um, we'll take our lead now. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Yes, 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 sir. Okay, 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 I will not pull a fast one. Yes, I understand. Let me go and dress. Let me go and change.
Madam, can we get the keys to this car? Why? And what is going on here? Who are you? I am Sergeant Nick from Divisional Police Headquarters. We are conducting a search on every house and vehicle on this street. The daughter of Joel Sinachi, the billionaire and a very influential man in this area, has been kidnapped. And as a result, there is an order from the headquarters to search every house and car in this street. Please, can you open the windows? I don't have the keys. You don't have the keys? You have to, have to bring the keys. We need to search. Are car. you kidding me? We're not kidding you. We're here conducting a search, madam. I said I don't have the keys. Then don't you have understand? To open it. We'll have to force it. To I'm sorry. <laughs> you either open it. Or I force it, madam, please. You will do no such thing. Madam, I will do such thing. <laughs> because I have others. Can you open it, please? I don't have the keys. Madam, read my lips. I have read your lips. So please, either I have to open the car, or I will have to force it. You give me no chance. Please open it. Like I said earlier, you will do no such thing. Madam, sorry. Get it open by yourself, or I'll have to force it open, please. Do your worst. I should do my, I should do my worst. Yes. Madam, I'm not playing, please. Are you opening it, or do I force it? I said do your worst. I'll do my worst. Calm down, calm down. Open it, or I force it. Calm down. What's going on Thank God my husband down, please, 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 calm down. What's going on Okay. I'm the owner of this car. Yes, I'm the owner of the car. Honey, drink now. So, what are we going to do about the car? It has to wait for now. I don't have money for a new gearbox. Mm, I see. Cigarettes? Thank you. Mm. Where is it? She's in the truck. Yes. Dead? Yes. <sighs> so, what are we going to do now? 
We have to get another car. We don't even have money to hire a car. I have the ransom with me. You have the ransom? Yes. Excuse me, can you just cool down and tell me how everything happened right from the beginning? Nancy, I am ashamed of myself. Listen, I am your wife. Talk to me. I am all ears. Okay? Please, I want to see Mr. Sinachi. Um, sorry, sir. Mr. Sinachi is not feeling well now, so he is not to be disturbed, sir. Oh, I'm sorry about that. What about the wife? I want to see her. It's very, very important. Very urgent. Okay, sir. Come in with me. Good afternoon, Mrs. Sinachi. I am from the police headquarters. I'm here to see you and sorry for disturbing you. What do you want? Please offer me a seat. You can sit down. Good, thank you. <clears throat> So, we found her, but not where you wanted us to see her. We found her on the trunk of a stolen car. Is she dead? You should know better. 
Yes, she is. You shouldn't have murdered her. We are two quarreling over the one. Madam, her death is on you. Am I the one that murdered her? No one except you would do that. You planned the kidnapping. You were to meet her at the car. I mean, I, I was in bed when she died, so where were you? No one, not even the, the police, will believe the ex jail bed. You know that. That's right. Oh, body will. But you know, I I knew this was going to happen right from the first. Mm. Yeah, from the start, I knew it was going to happen. So I took every precaution. Every precaution. Oh, uh, there was a tape recorder planted in the cabin where the meeting was supposed to take place. Yes. So I have everything recorded. How the kidnap was planned and everything that happened. So if I go down, you are going down with me. You lied. Shut up. You lied. I am calling you bluff. Well, it will be too late. It will be too late by then. This is serious. So, you are not even the fool I imagined you to be. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Um, the car is ready, man. Right. So, Mrs. Sinachi, the day Vivian left the house. She left the house, or she was wearing something different. But the day her cops were found, she was wearing a blue gown with a black design and a little bit of gold. I mean, why was she wearing such cheap gown? A daughter of a billionaire wearing such Cheap girl. So my colleague is trying to find out if you know anything about a cheap blue gown. Because in our investigations, she was putting on a red, beautiful, and very expensive gown when she left the house. So do you know anything about Yes, the... I do. Oh. I bought it for her. It's a beach dress. She keeps it in her car. Whenever she goes to beach, she changes into it. Oh. Tell the inspector that. Oh, definitely Thanks. tell him that. Oh, you're a sinner. Yes. The inspector told me about you. So, has she been found? Yeah. Um, they found her. Uh, they found her on a stone car. Actually, the trunk of a stolen car. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, she's dead. So we we wanted you to come and um, <clears throat> identify the body. Oh, but I don't think it's in my position to do that. Really? Yeah, I think the old man should do that. No, no, no. You don't expect an old man to do that. You know, Vivian has been, I mean, dead for two days now. So you don't expect a sick old man, I mean, to come and see his daughter lying down there. I mean, it won't be a good sight for him, don't you think so? Um, yeah, you actually have a point there. You know what? I'll come along. All right, but I still have to tell her where I'm going to. Okay? Good. All right. 
Um, have they been able to find out who strangled her? No. The guy that strangled her. And how did he know Vivian was strangled? Is he the one that killed her? Is he the killer? You are sure she's the one? Yes, I'm very certain she's the one. I mean, how can someone strangle such an innocent young girl? I mean, this is bad. So, Inspector, is there any headway yet? Not yet. So, how did the old man take the news? Man, very terrible. Right as I'm speaking to you right now, he has a doctor attending to him. All right, thank you, Mr. Usman, for coming around. And don't hesitate to let me know if there's anyone I can help you. All right, I'll do just that. No problem. All right, no problems. Take care, man. All right. <laughs> now, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> you know your Nyarina here seems not to be enjoying my company anymore. So you killed her. Did I? <laughs> Come on, the evidence shows that you were the one that did it. But you know your problem. You talk too much. Because if not, Helga and I wouldn't have even imagined anything. We would have just sat put, not until something became off about you. You're not going to get those tapes. If anyone is going to get those tapes, Definitely going to be Jack and not you. Go to me now. Tamburu Ubanga. Hmm, go to me what do you think would happen if I point this toy towards this beautiful ties of hers and mistakenly pulls the trigger? You want to do no such thing? Honey, don't listen to him. I am not frightened. If you pull that gun, I have over 10 people in this compound that will get you down. Before you believe. So I advise you. Just get the hell out of my house. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try. If you understand what I meant. But, but it's okay. You're right. I'm not going to kill either of you. So let's get down to business. Where are those tapes? 
because I need them right now. The tapes are somewhere safe. Very safe and you will not get it. You are going to take me to that safe place. And you are going to retrieve those tapes. And you are going to hand them over to me. You know I like you. I like you because you talk with so much confidence. But you see those tapes? You are not going to get them. So just live in peace. <laughs> you know what? I give up. But let me tell you something. I'll advise you part ways with those tapes. Because there are millions of Naira involved in this whole thing. And I wouldn't want those tapes to jeopardize the plans that I've already set in motion. Let me show you a little experiment. You see the way it's burning? That is sulfonic acid. Now imagine a drop of it on the face of this beautiful wife of yours. It will burn through her skin into her skull. And I've got togs all over the places that are willing to do that simple job for just 10 grand. How do you want it? Maybe let's go. No, don't. I thought as much. No, stand up. I, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call with you. Everything is going to be alright. Who do me See, now you know you should have kept your mouth shut. Now you are alone and, um, I mean, hasn't Jack got to you yet? No, I've not heard from him yet. Okay, you know, when he finally does, try as much as you can not to talk about Helga and I. Because we've got very strong alibi. Wow. That's good. Good for you. You know, I didn't think you had it in you. Seriously. I knew what I was coming into, so I came prepared. Very prepared. Unlike you. You know nothing about a woman. <laughs> So what exactly are you driving at? You see, I, I've been a journalist for quite some years now. And I have experience. Wealth of experience. You know, I have dealt with showgirls. Showgirls like Helga. After Chief Jewel Sonachi dies, Helga will not have any interest in a Merua. 
and a bookie like you. But that's all she takes you for. <sighs> Trust me, she won't. She won't dump you. That's exactly what she's going to do. You know your problem. You talk too much. Once you stop existing, Helga and I are getting married. <laughs> you know, that's one of the funniest things I've heard in quite some time now. <laughs> she says nothing interesting about you. You're just an abuki to her. You know you're really very stupid. Yeah. So shut up and get me the tips. I know I'm stupid. And I'll shut up. But I'll tell you something. You better start being your own boss now. And I can fix it for you. you have a gun there, but slowly. Sir, what's cooking? I am satisfied now, sir. The girl was never kidnapped. Hmm? Never kidnapped? Yes, sir. She and this guy on this photo planned it together. I guess he wanted the money. So he persuaded the girl to get the money from her father. And the only possible way she could get that money from her father was to pretend she was kidnapped. Jack. Sir. Are you sure of what you are saying? I am very sure, sir. Very, very, very sure. You see, we just got her fingerprints 10 minutes ago. And we also know that she went to Joss on her own and came back on her own. Which simply means that she was never kidnapped. I am certain. Now, how did she get murdered? Well, um, her partner collected the ransom. And the two agreed to meet somewhere. I guess he wanted all the money. So, he knocked her on her head and uh, strangled her. Who is he? Uh, did you get a line on him yet? I have several lines on him, but not enough to book him. The DCO tells me. There's a problem. What's happened? I believe some people broke into our home. What? No, 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 calm down. 
and everything is just scattered. My clothes, my shoes, everything. Just so disarranged. I believe they are after me now. Yes, after us. Yes, after us. Mm -hmm. That's all my mess. I messed up. Okay, it's my mess. I'm going to fix it. I promise you that. I shouldn't have given him that took those tips. But I had no other option. No other option at all. Baby, no words. Just tell Jack to like. No, no, no. That would happen. I mean, it can't happen. No, no one is going to believe me. Jack won't even believe me because I don't have any evidence. No evidence to show. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. Usman, I'll make Usman to confess. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I just pray they've not shared the ransom money. I just hope so. I'll make him confess. They need to confess. You're right. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Mm. Yes. But why not tell Jack? Have you forgotten who I am? Huh? I'm a media guru, you know that. I'm going to make up a news. I'm going to make up something. Yes, I'm going to fight them with the media. Okay, all social media everywhere. I'm going to flash them. <sighs> it's going to be a flash news. Don't worry. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. At least my mind is down now. interrupt this program to bring you the latest news in the Vivian Sinachi's incident. A warrant has been issued to the police for this purpose, and the divisional police officer, Marzi, says that these operations will produce the ransom money and arraign the criminals who are behind the deaths of Ms. Vivian Sinachi. He believes that this ransom money will be at the luggage station. Make it look like it's suicide. 
and you will feel something think you heard in the broadcast. They can easily say you decided to end it yourself. How about that? Don't try this shit. Don't you tell me what to do! Don't! Ah, Sina knows you killed her. So even if I didn't tell the police, he is going to tell the police. And what evidence do you think he has? Yeah. 